doing things a bit differently uh, this week. Um, Pre-recording our Thursday lunch class on Monday evening. Hope that you're doing well. Let's start off in a comfortable seat. Bring one hand to the chest, one hand to the belly. Ensure that the ears are over the shoulders, the shoulders are over the hips. And as you inhale, let the belly soften, let it expand, let it grow like a balloon. As you exhale, draw the belly button in towards the spine. Notice how the breath feels in the body. And notice how the body feels as you breathe. Your next inhale, still in through the nose. As you exhale, go to the space between the teeth, exhale out the mouth. Just a couple more rounds here. With hands. Come to the knees, let the breath find its natural flow. Swing gentle Sufi rolls opening up through the spine, the hips. Change direction. Come back to neutral spine. Shift our weight over to tabletop to all fours. The shoulders are over the wrists, the hips are over the knees. As we inhale, we'll drop the belly, lift the gaze. As we exhale, we'll round the spine. Gaze to the knees, between the belly button. So flowing here through cow and then cat, matching that change in motion with your breath. Okay, and next exhale, we'll return to neutral spine. Send the left leg long out behind us, press into the big toe mound, feel that stretch through the calf. 
We'll inhale, leg lifts off the mat. Option to stay here or reach the right fingertips long. Right hand lowers to the mat. We'll draw the knee in, let it hover, and then send the knee to the left, opening like a book. Option to keep the hands as they are, or reach the right arm long out to the side. And exhale, lower. Inhale, send the right leg long, pressing to the big toe mound. And then we'll lift the leg off the mat, keeping the foot flexed, toes pointed down. You can stay here or left fingertips reach long. Exhale, left hand touches down. We'll draw the knee in so that it hovers and then open it to the right side like a book. And the hands can stay as they are or send the left, excuse me, left arm long. Out to that left side. Engaging through the core here. And exhale. Lower hand, lower the knee. Knees go nice and wide, big toes touch. Let's find child's pose. Feel that grounding as the forehead touches down to the mat. We'll walk the hands back towards the body. We'll tuck the toes, send the hips high, downward facing dog. We'll inhale, look between the hands, walk, step or hop to the top of the mat. Find halfway lift, flat back. Exhale into forward fold. Inhale, nice deep bend in the knees. We'll reach the fingertips up. And exhale, hands come to heart center. Let's pause here. Set an intention for your practice. Perhaps it is a posture that you are working on or some expansion that you hope to feel in the body. Perhaps it's a mantra, an affirmation. And inhale, fingertips reach to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward, forward folds. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plank the hands, step back into plank. Move lower down all the way to the belly. Hands under the shoulders, press the tops of the feet into the mat. We inhale, chest shines forward. Elbows drawing in alongside the body. Baby cobra. Exhale, push back through the palms, downward facing dog. Inhale, look between the hands, walk, step or hop to the top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, forward folds. Inhale, nice strong legs, we'll reach up and rise. 
And exhale, hands press together, lower to heart center. Inhale and reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, turn the hand, step back into plank. Flowing through, finding your back bend, whether that's cobra or up dog. And exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg to the sky. As you exhale, step it forward between the hands. We'll lower that back knee, low lunge. Inhale, fingertips reach up. Exhale, fingertips reach down to the mat and then back towards the back foot. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, lower, extend to the back of the mat. And bring the hands down to the mat, framing the front foot, tuck those back toes. And we'll step up, high lunge. The back heel is lifted. Breathing here. And we'll inhale, open to warrior two. Breathe here. And exhale, forearm finds the thigh. Left fingertips reach up, side angle. Many variations that right hand can stay as it is or reach down to the mat. Left fingertips reaching to the sky or opening through the chest, reaching forward. And let's inhale back to warrior two and then turn the toes to the long edge of the mat. Bring the hands to the hips. Inhale, find length through the spine. Exhale, hinge forward. The hands can stay on the hips. They can reach down the legs. As you exhale, let the head be heavy. Let it be that weight drawing down to the mat. Bend the knees as much as you need as the hands touch into the mat. We'll bend into the right leg. The left toes can point up to the sky or the sole of the foot can plant down as we find our side lunge here. Walk the hands through the center, bending into the left. Straightening the right. Bending into the legs. We'll draw the heels in. Come to stand at the top of the mat. We'll inhale, reach the fingertips to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward, forward folds. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands back into plank. You'll find your back bend. And then exhale to downward facing dog. We'll inhale the left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. We'll lower that back knee. And inhale, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, I reach forward and then extend towards that back foot, the back of the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, extend back. And 
And the hands will frame that front foot. We'll tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. We find high lunge, fingertips reach to the sky. Inhale, open the arms wide to the T. Then forearm to the thigh, right fingertips reach up. Again, we can stay here. That left hand can touch down to the mat. Right fingertips can reach forward. We're here in side angle. Inhale, reach back to warrior two. Let's turn the toes in. Again, finding that side lunge. We'll bend into the right leg, straightening the left. Walking the hands across, bending into the left, straightening the right. Hands kind of to center, we draw the heels in, keeping those knees bent, we'll rise into goddess. And then reaching to our five point star, we'll come to stand at the top of our mat. Inhale, fingertips reach up. Exhale, hands press together, lower to heart center. Inhale and reach. Exhale, hands press together and lower to heart center. One more time, inhale and reach. Lower to heart center. Beautiful. The weight will come into the left foot as we find tree pose, so the right finds, presses into the ankle, the calf, the inner thigh, lots of options with the hands, get heart center, reach to the ground, cactus arms opening through the chest, reaching to the sky, anywhere in between, you find what feels best for you. Inhale, draw the knee into the chest and then cross the ankle over the thigh. We'll sit into our figure four. Inhale. Rise up, plant the sole of the foot, and give a windshield wiper back and forth. While the weight comes into the right foot, we externally rotate, and the sole of the left finds the ankle, the calf, the inner thigh. Inhale, draw that knee into the chest, and then cross the ankle over the thigh, sitting into our chair, feeling that stretch through the left glute. And 
Inhale, rise up. Give a shake of this coat sleeves. And grab water at any time you need throughout. We'll inhale, fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands back into plank. And holding plank here, feeling that energy come up through the palms, up the arms, into the shoulders, across the upper back. Then we'll lower the knees. Knees nice and wide, big toes touch, finding child's pose. I gotta get myself some water. Walk the hands back towards the body. We're going to come to a seat. Send the left leg long and grab onto that right foot. Use it to stir a big pot. Change direction. Left hand grabs the sole of the foot, the right hand grabs the knee. We can continue rocking, opening up through that hip or the sole of the foot presses into the crease of the left elbow. And then the knee presses into the crease of the right elbow and the hands can grasp. Exhale, release, send the right leg long. Grabbing onto that foot and big stir. And changing direction. Pull the right hand grabs the foot. And the left hand grabs the knee. We can continue to rock and roll here. Or the knee presses into one crease. The foot presses into the other elbow crease. And opening through the hips. We'll keep the leg bent, that right shin, and we'll take, sorry, that's the left. The left shin is going to stay parallel-ish to the top edge of your mat. We'll send the right leg long out behind us as we find a pigeon pose. Breathing into those hips. The left heel can um, stay, you know, drawn towards the top right corner of the mat. So the shin is parallel, or that right heel can draw in under the body. Just it will make a difference on how intense that stretch is. You can press into the palms or lower down to the forearms and see if you can release some of that tension that you're holding through the hips.
A few options here. You can press into the palms, come to tabletop or downward facing dog to switch sides. Or as I'm going to just rolling onto that left sitting bone, bringing the right shin parallel to the top edge of the mat. Left leg reaches long. And the palms can press in or lower down to the forearms. And press into the palms, tuck those back toes, step back into downward facing dog. We'll lift the left leg to the sky, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, hands find the mat. We step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it forward. We find a low lunge. Bring the front foot, step back, downward facing dog. We'll walk the hands and the feet to meet in the middle of the mat, drawing the heels in. Elbows press into the inner thighs, the palms press together at the heart. And always, um, sit on a block, sit on a chair in this posture. The seat can be as high or as low as you need. What feels good through your hips. And inhale, send the left hand reaching wide, long, down to the mat. The knee almost right up at the shoulder. Actually it is. We'll inhale, right fingertips to the sky. You have a bind in your practice. Go ahead, find it here. Wherever you are, keep that opening through the chest. Bring the elbows back into the inner thighs, palms pressed together, we come aligned in the center. And then the right arm reaches long, left fingertips reach up again. If the blind is there, go ahead. Come back through center, palms pressed together. And then we'll lower onto our seat. Legs reach long. Inhale, fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, hands lower down onto the legs, reaching towards the feet, keeping that heart lifted, letting it crack open through the chest.
Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. We'll bend into the knees, soles of the feet, plant into the mat and we'll lay all the way back. We'll cross the right foot over the left thigh. You can stay as we are, or fingertips interlace around that left hamstring. Exhale, left leg reaches long down the mat. We'll draw the right shin into the chest. We will send that foot up towards the sky. That right leg is straight. Shoulders can begin to lift off the mat as the hands reach up towards that right foot. We draw the knee towards the nose. We'll exhale, release and lower. Right leg is bent, we'll cross the left foot over that thigh. Interlacing the fingers around the hamstring. The right leg long down the mat, drawing the left shin into the chest. Straighten that left leg, sole of the foot plants up to the sky. And we walk the hands towards the foot as the shoulders lift off the mat. We draw the left knee towards the nose. Bring both knees into the chest now. Give yourself a big hug. We'll send the knees over to the left. Right arm is long, gaze to the fingertips. Knees come back through center and then over to the right. We gaze to the left fingertips. Draw the knees back through center. 
finding our Shavasana, our final resting pose, letting the legs reach long down the mat, let the feet be wider than the hips, the palms face up and are wider than the shoulders. Letting the practice melt into the body, the body melts into the mat. Enjoying your Shavasana. Start to wiggle into the toes and the fingers. Take a nice long stretch. Roll to one side. Pausing there for a moment. Press up into a seat. Thank you as always for sharing your practice, for joining me. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week and see you soon.